Let's convert grams of CaCl2 to moles. So we have our grams of calcium chloride here. We want to get that to moles. And we have 42.5 grams, just a number I made up for the video here. So it's helpful to remember how to convert from moles to grams and grams to moles. This kind of mnemonic here. When you go from moles to grams, you're going to multiply by the molar mass of the compound. Since we're going from grams to moles, we just do the opposite. We don't multiply. We divide by the molar mass. So grams to moles divide by the molar mass of the compound. And for CaCl2, the molar mass, that's right here. If you need help figuring out the molar mass for calcium chloride, there's a link in this video to help you do that. So let's convert these grams of CaCl2 to moles. So we're going to divide by the molar mass. We take our 42.5 grams and we just divide that by the molar mass for calcium chloride here. So when we do that, we end up with the grams on the top and bottom. They cancel out. So we get moles. That's what we're looking for. 42.5 divided by 110.98. That gives us 0 0.383, our units, moles of calcium chloride, CaCl2. So that's how you do it. Your teacher might want you to use something like the factor label method or dimensional analysis, conversion factors. That's another way to do it. Let me just show you that real quick. So it's really just the same thing. We have our grams. In this case, we multiply it by a conversion factor. We have grams on the top. We need to have grams on the bottom again, so they'll cancel out. And we know that there are 110.98 grams in one mole of our calcium chloride here. And what's nice is when the grams cancel out, we multiply and then divide here, the grams cancel out, we're left with moles again. And we end up with the same answer, 0 0.383 moles of our calcium chloride. So that's it. This is Dr. B converting grams of calcium chloride to moles. Thanks for watching.